We've got an update now on a story we've been following in Montgomery County. Instead of learning from home, some students along with their parents held classes outside of the Montgomery County Board of Education. And their goal is to raise awareness as the school board considers cutting the system's remote learning program. It's the virtual academy out of the budget. Our Melissa Kim is in Rockville where class just let out. Uh, instrumental this yeah. year. Fourth grader Ethan High is one of the dozens of students bringing his virtual learning space outside to the Montgomery County Public Schools Board of Education headquarters. For him and others, an in-person classroom setting is not ideal. Having the virtual academy for our son to go to to receive a full education has been life changing for us. His mom and six year old sister have a genetic disorder that makes them vulnerable to COVID and other communicable diseases. So this virtual academy is literally saving their lives. Unfortunately, if this goes away, we have to make those tough life decisions. High five. Just a few yeah. seats down, Alex Shu says the virtual academy makes him feel seen. The teachers can hear the stuff that we're talking about, like, and like it's really quiet and I can focus more. His mom Jenny felt helpless when her fourth grader was learning in person because she says Alex was bullied. He came home with bite marks. He, um, his best friend had um, his jacket torn by somebody biting it. But now he really thrived virtually and it kind of addressed um, some of the focus issues that he was having in in-person school. Likewise, Rigo Ramos Yanez notices how much happier his siblings are. And now they're like after school, they're like, oh, I did I did this job. I did this assignment or I did this with my friends. I like I worked on a project, but that is all slated to possibly go away in late May. MCPS announced the virtual academy would be cut in its 2025 budget, citing budget constraints, leaving these kids and their families looking for answers. It's unconscionable to think that that would be how this system wants to treat these kids. Everybody has their own learning ways of learning, and this is one that worked for us. Final decisions on the budget won't be made until June 11th, which is the next open board meeting. So if the program does get cut, students like Alex say it'll be hard to go back to in-person learning. I feel trapped. Well, no one from the board would do an on-camera interview, nor did I see any board members interacting with students or parents out here today. But they did release a statement saying that they understand that many Montgomery Virtual Academy families and staff are disappointed with the program's closure. We respect their right to peacefully assemble and express their viewpoints. In Montgomery County, Melissa Kim, WUSA 9.